A long line of panicked Northern Rock customers queuing to withdraw cash in September 2007 became one of the most memorable images of the financial crisis in the UK. A decade on from the run on Northern Rock, the first on a British lender since 1866, how dramatically has the banking landscape changed? Northern Rock had a loan to deposit ratio of 322%, well ahead of competitors in 2007, and almost two times HBOS, which later collapsed itself. HSBC, with its lending ratio below 100%, was relatively safe. Banks are significantly less dependent on short-term wholesale market finance now. Before the crisis unfolded, levels peaked at more than a quarter of total funding, which has come down to just 10% now. Northern Rock, by comparison, had short-term wholesale funding liabilities of about 60%, more than twice the UK market average. Banks lent out high loan-to-value mortgages before the financial crisis, with Northern Rock offering a 125% mortgage that included an unsecured loan. The average loan-to-value of a mortgage was 90% in 2007, but it's since dropped to 78%, following stricter lending criteria imposed by regulators. Unsecured consumer credit has soared since 2010, with rates of growth returning to pre-crisis levels of around 10%. Although the annual growth rate softened to 9.8% in July, the lowest since April 2016, it has risen for the past 56 consecutive months. UK banks have raised more than £130 billion in additional capital since 2007. As a result, banks' balance sheets have strengthened, with the average core Tier 1 ratio, a measure of capital to risk-weighted assets, increasing threefold to 14.3% over the period. The run on Northern Rock exposed the need for a larger compensation scheme to protect depositors if a bank were to fail. The limit on the financial services compensation scheme was raised from £31,700 after the run to £35,000 and now stands at £85,000. While on many metrics banks look safer now, some of the risky practices employed by Northern Rock and other lenders have re-emerged in different guises, especially in UK banks' exposure to consumer credit.